Hi, and welcome to another story time video with my brand Melly. Um, have you ever wondered how to find a fox? <laughs> well, this book is going to teach us how to find a fox in case you have wondered. And if not, it's always good to know. This book is written by Nala Magruder. Okay. How to find a fox. Looks like she's ready. She's wearing good walking shoes, has a backpack, and a camera. Find a foxhole. Any foxhole hole will do. The best foxes are at home when you visit. Is that fox in his home? No, right? He's right behind her. <laughs> Take out your fox bait. Place it somewhere easy to spot. Hide. Then wait very quietly. So bait is something that you use to catch animals. When you're fishing, they use worms as bait. So she's using a turkey leg as bait for the fox. Do you think it's gonna work? wait a little longer do you think she's waiting a long time yeah right she has ants and ladybugs crawling on her maybe you should try a different approach she got tired of waiting but look the bait worked <laughs> tread slowly over the ground foxes have keen hearing Keen means really good. You don't want to startle them. Be sure to look for fox tracks. They're like dog tracks, but sneakier. These are all the tracks. She followed it and then it stopped. Where did the fox go? Uh, he's up there with Mr. Owl. Sneaky fox. <laughs> Take a picture of a family of raccoons. They have bushy tails, kind of like foxes. Do you notice something about this family of raccoons? <laughs> the fox is there. She didn't notice him, right? Put out more bait. Wait longer this time. <laughs> she looks really determined. Oh no, you waited too long. Lying around won't bring the foxes to you. Keep looking. Stalk through the grass, make fox call. <sighs> Search by the stream. <sighs> make more fox calls. Roll down a hill. It won't help you find a fox, but it's fun. <laughs> So she fell asleep. Maybe you need to change your perspective. Climb a tree. Perspective means the way you see things, the way you look at things, okay? Slowly, carefully. So if she were to climb a tree, that would change her perspective, right? She could see more and far. So she's climbing a tree. Wow, she climbed so high. There he is. Oh, she saw the fox. Good thing she changed her perspective, right? She climbed up the tree. Now she has to climb down the tree. He's getting away. Fast, fast, fast. Gotta go, gotta go. Run, run. You've got to be quick. Don't lose him. Oh, you lost him. Oh, no. Kick a rock. No, wait. Not that one. She could hurt herself, right? That's a big rock. <laughs> Kick a smaller rock. 
Lie down on your back because it's hopeless. Perhaps this was a wrong day to find foxes. Oh no, it sounds like she's gonna give up. Do you think she should give up? No. Maybe you should just give up. You want to go home, but you're too tired. What do you do now? <sighs> Take deep breaths. <sighs> Close your eyes. Take a walk in your mind. Now's not the time to give up. No. It's never the time to give up. What you're looking for is closer than you think. You've got a feeling that it's staring you right in the face. Hmm. What does that mean? It's the fox. Some days a fox doesn't want to be found. Some days he wants to find you. <laughs> he's looking in her, to her camera. You could say he's like photo bombing her. <laughs> she was taking photos of the cloud. Congratulations. You are a master at finding foxes. You see that selfie? <laughs> I really like this one because he's smiling. So there we have it. How to find a fox. I think it sends a really nice message about not giving up even though things get you get frustrated and things are taking too long because remember, good things come to those who wait with hard work and determination. Okay, I hope to see you guys next time. Stay safe. Bye. <laughs>